hey y'all what is going on i'm hawaii welcome to my channel so today we are going to be talking about elevating and changing in your 30s okay there is nothing wrong with wanting to elevate your life there's nothing wrong with wanting to change there is nothing wrong with just striving to be a different version of yourself and as you grow as you get older the things that you want change the life that you want change you know you're not the same person you were when you were 21 or 22 so we are gonna dive all into some of the best ways to blow up to change your life your reality in your 30s so if you're interested keep on watching I just turned 31. I turned 31 a month ago. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've been coming across so much content, specifically on TikTok, of people in their 20s, just kind of like, I guess, at their wit's end, kind of feel like they're chasing their tail, feeling like they, you know, stressed out, they're losing their mind, they're not where they want to be. They waking up every day seeing people drive two hundred thousand dollar cars and they expecting to be making like six hundred thousand dollars and they're just stressing out because they're not where it is that they want to be and i have consciously made the choice and the decision to start over in my 30s and to really just have the gumption to go after the life that I've always wanted to no longer live in that fear of being seen, that fear of being seen trying, that fear of going after what it is that I really want. So I wanted to talk about the steps that I'm taking and hopefully, you know, it'll help somebody else who is also in this transition period of I'm leaving one way of living and jumping into another reality. First things first that I want to address is I truly in my heart of hearts believe that if you are ever in a place where you are not growing, where you are dissatisfied, where you feel like you should be striving or working towards more there is nothing wrong with shifting like i live for a good pivot a good pivot moment and i feel like i'm 31 years old but if i'm being honest i feel like i have lived probably like five or six different lives and i'm not even kidding i've had maybe like three different businesses but because of my own fear of failure fear of just like really putting myself out there none were successful um but i can say that i have i've done quite a bit of quite a bit of things okay there is nothing wrong with wanting change there's nothing wrong with wanting to elevate there's nothing wrong with wanting to shift directions there's nothing wrong with going after something new and something different now i do think that there is a fine line with that um, because I do think that there is a such thing as destination addiction. Um, I don't know if that's the real name for it. That's what I've coined it. Essentially, I define destination addiction as always feeling like your happiness is somewhere else. Your joy and your peace, right? It's always out there. It's always going after a new goal. It's always a new thing. And when you get caught up in always trying to chase after something, you're unable to be content and at peace and finding joy with where it is that you are right now. There is a fine line with that, but if, if it's all in the sake of self-development, if it's in for the sake of growth, of elevation, of wanting to elevate your life, go after it, make those changes do whatever that is going to requ be required of you to get the life that you want you have to have a clear destination for where it is that you're trying to go so many of us are busy chasing after something and you aren't even clear on what it is that you're chasing after you don't know what it is that you really want you're looking at your life 
comparing your life to people's lives that you see on social media. You want the things that they have. It's inorganic. It's not in vibration or in alignment with what God has for you. So that's the first thing that you have to do, right? Like you first have to become clear on what you want for your life and make a clear like plan but also leave room for God to work within, you know, work his own plan. You, you have to have space and a sense of detachment from what it is that you want. I feel like when you're in the energy of just like hardcore, going after something, going after something, going after something, you are not fluid at all. You just have a, a goal and an and a outcome that you want and you're you have no wiggle room at all whatsoever i think that that's a clear sign that you are not in alignment with what god has for you like you're you're out of alignment and you're forcing your own will and i have definitely been that person i've definitely done that in my life i have like picked up completely relocated on the other side of the us and i know now looking back on it that, that I was outside of God's will for my life. Being that I knew better and, and going after what I wanted ended up bringing me right back to where I had previously left from. So yeah, you know, you, you go through things and you'll survive, like you're not gonna die. God is gonna keep you, but there is a lot of hardship that you put yourself through that is unnecessary if you would just align your goals and your desires and your dreams to what is truly in your heart and what is in God's will for your life. Next thing that I have done on this journey of, you know, changing and um, evolving within my 30s is being very clear on what it is going to require of me to become the person that wants or that has what it is that i desire to have the life that i desire to create um if we are talking on a more psychological level i'm in this experiment i'm calling it like the quantum leap social experiment it's some kind of testing reworking my own subconscious like what is it that you like i'm telling myself what is it that i'm feeding myself what is it that i'm putting my attention towards what music that i'm listening to like the conversations that i'm having the people that i'm interacting with like i'm very focused on only being surrounded by things that are in vibrational alignment to what it is that I want to manifest and seeing if that truly can change a reality, which I I do believe that it can. I believe that um, our subconscious is a lot more powerful than our conscious mind. I think a clear like representation of that is music. When you listen to certain music, it makes you feel a certain thing. Um, it, it, it makes you feel a certain thing or you can have a song and like you don't even like this song but it plays so often like you hear it on the radio or you hear it on social media and before you know it you know the words to the song even though you yourself have never taken the time you know you've never played that yourself you know you have never downloaded that you would never listen to it but because your subconscious is listening to it all the time and it's feeding into that you know the words because your subconscious has picked up on that so that is how powerful the subconscious mind is and i think when we start to align ourselves to the vibration of what it is that we want so what habits that future version of myself what habits does she have um what does she, how does she spend her time what how, what time does she look when does she wake up in the morning does she go to the gym does she do pilates what type of friends does she have what type of friend is she what type of mother is she how does she show up for her kids 
and then becoming that version of myself so waking up every day at a certain time having a solid morning routine and night routine um working out consistently on a daily not daily but on i work out five days a week so like a consistent basis being very conscious of uh falling into the energy of uh, the vibration of gratitude right so i i'll go in the morning that is the, one of the first things that i do every morning is i write down front and back full pages of things that i am grateful for because i believe that when you find things in your life to be grateful for god gives you even more things to be grateful for so falling into that habit you know in the morning and before bed just showing how thankful and grateful you are for your life um being more present and right now being content and right now finding joy and happiness and just peace where i am right now in this little space that i've cultivated that is mine like being at peace with with me and then aligning my daily habits to that version of myself the next thing that i would say that i think is very important along with subconscious is being um conscious about what it is that you are choosing to ingest via social media um social media algorithms are so sensitive and there's so much catered to what it is that you want to see so if you know that the version of yourself um doesn't gossip right unfollow sites like the shade room and these other media sites that constantly put out gossip or that are constantly focused on other people's lives and those like content creators and those pages and who just even people that you know in your real life right because we all have people we are following our friends with on social media that just are not in alignment we must say that they aren't in alignment with where it is that we desire to be but because you've known them for so long it feels weird or mean to like unfollow them or to not you know engage with them but you really have to know what it is that you want and be okay with cutting off things that don't align to what it is that you want for your own sake and i would suggest curating your socials to look like what it is that you want to like bring into your reality right like follow people that inspire you follow um people that are doing the things that you desire to do so if you know that you want to live a life where you want to travel that's what you that's the people you should be following you should be following people and pages that are giving tips on how to travel people that are showing like the ins and outs of preparing to go to different countries and itineraries for different countries and like how to pack in different airport like that is what you should be focusing on if that's what you want if you desire to be a content creator you need to follow and and really hone in on those creators that are posting and showing up how you want to show up right like get in tune with that see what they do how they edit um what they post the different angles that they post so that you can incorporate that into your own content if you desire to do filmmaking or fashion or whatever whatever it is follow the people that are doing the things that you want to do because you cannot be seeking advice or seeking answers from people who have never done the things that it is that you are desiring to do in your life if you know that you are essentially the first person that you know in real life to be wanting to go after the things that you want to go after you can't look to them for advice they're not going to know what to tell you they've never done the thing like yeah they can they can be supportive and keep them around if they are supportive but when it comes to like actual real advice um i would keep that between you and god 
um, whatever God you, I'm Christian, so God and Jesus Christ, but whatever it is that you choose to believe in, I will keep that between you and, and them, him, whatever it is for you. Okay, because other people are not gonna, they not gonna have the answers for you. And last but not least, I would say get into the habit of educating yourself. Okay? Um, I know with the type of lifestyle that I am creating for myself, um, there is nobody in my current reality that I can get advice from. Um, I am, like I was just talking about, I am the first. So I have been educating myself and reading so much. I'm currently reading um, Oneness. I'm halfway through that and it is literally like, it's mind blowing. It's changing the way that I, I'm just going through life and day to day. And it's so amazing. I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. Um, my next book that I'm reading will be The Power of the Subconscious Mind. I've already ordered it, it's on the way. Um, so I can't wait to read that. Read up on the things that you are interested in and those things that are going to level you up and change you as a person. And I mean change you from within. Like you can do all of the things aesthetic wise, like changing your body or changing the way you do your makeup or your hair or like the way that you dress. But if you are not changing yourself from the mind outward, if you are not filling yourself every day with the word of God, if you are not like waking up and like feeding your spirit and your soul, nothing is going to change if all you're focused on changing is the outside. So we got to work from the inside outwardly and you have to educate yourself you have to read because real baddies read like the, the real girlies we we read we educate ourselves we level up we're, we're intellectuals um so get in the habit of doing that doing it every day pick up a book okay we spend so much time just aimlessly scrolling and laughing and watching stupid videos and getting caught up doing that for hours we are losing the art of books of reading and i really want us to get back into that so yeah that is all that i am doing to change my life in my 30s i hope that you found this video helpful that you will subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed follow me on tiktok because i also post content like this on tiktok as well um thank y'all so much for watching and i will catch y'all in the next video bye y'all